Well, I thought this might be a fun little video to make. And the efforts I've put in to learning how to do some of this server stuff is actually paying off. I ended up showing one of my customers my server setup, and he was kind of impressed and liked what I had going on. And he asked if I could build him three that are basically similar to what I'm running. I did tell him that uh, basically to order some of the parts since I didn't have them and it saved him some money. So I'm waiting on CPUs, some Tesla M40s, and then some SSDs. The server might get a little upset here. It doesn't have its cover on and it's in the middle of uh, defaulting iDRAC, but yeah, beefy little config. I'm pretty excited about the Xeons. Um, I actually wanted to get the same ones for my own server, but I never did. Now they're really cheap, but uh, I don't feel like dealing with it. <laughs> I'd only gain, oh, I'm trying to think, 300 megahertz times uh, 20. So, similar six gigahertz of processing power. It would also be interesting to push my server a little beyond and exceed Dell's recommended config, but I don't hit my server hard enough as it is, so. I'm gonna stick with what I'm running, but these are gonna be pretty sweet. I believe dual 2.8 gigahertz 10 core Xeons. They're V2s, I forget what. I think like 2670s or something like that. 256 gigs of RAM, dual Tesla M40s, dual 1100 watt power supplies. And I recommended the uh, Intel 1.92 terabyte SSDs that I'm running in my server just because they have a really high endurance. And assuming he doesn't get boned on the one he buys, um, they should have f fantastic health. Like mostly used Intel SSDs that I buy on eBay that are data center ones easily over 80% health. I think the ones I got, I got really lucky because they were like 93% health. But yeah, these are gonna be sweet. I'm uh, looking forward to get these fully done up. It's always nice to uh, put a dent in my server inventory. It's a little uh, out of control in here. I need to get through the rest of my R720s I got these six in here, plus I have another one sitting out in the office that didn't want to overload the shelves. Tough part is selling them on eBay is just that I think the problem is the market's so flooded and their algorithms are so bad that you just have to get lucky if you want the server to sell, if it's something common. Cause I had a bunch of these I'm trying to sell and I have some R730s I'm trying to sell and they've been competitively priced. It's just zero traffic on them. So that part's unfortunate, but I would like to get to the point where I'm ugh, a little bit less servers in my collection. I think I have about three pallets worth sitting around. And I got ones like this that um, I really need to sell. This is a really nice server for, for its age at least. It's not high end, but this is the T420 that was in one of my videos. It's a 16 SFF Bay version. Plus you got the, uh, let's see if I can grab this without dropping it. I grabbed it really weird. Uh-oh. There we go. Plus this has a set of three uh, five and a quarter inch drive bays. So depending on what you buy, um, I think you can fit the four two and a half inch drives in that space, or you can go like nuts and probably fit another 24 SSDs in that space, uh, or well, two and a half inch drives. But yeah, only thing with this is it'd be a pain to ship if I sell it online, but this is a really fun server. So yeah, that's nice. I've had a few other people as well that have uh, bought servers for me recently. Another person who wanted one with um, quad CPUs and 512 gigs of RAM that I talked about in a different video. Pretty sure he's happy with that, he, hopefully. <laughs> I always get nervous because uh, 
Uh, at least with eBay, my favorite customer is the customer I never hear from again. Because I know that um, regardless of what happens, or happened, that is, I don't have to worry about anything. But usually if you hear from a customer, it's something bad. <laughs> so I always kind of get a little anxious on some of that stuff. But uh should be happy with the server. I'm fairly good about my process. Those R810s, though, did kind of suck because... 11th gen just isn't quite as nice as 12th. These 12th gen Dells are really where they made things mm, easier to work with. I don't know. There's just a lot of really nice features that iDRAC has. And it's slow, but it's way more responsive than 11th gen. Although I'm still pretty bitter about the fact that they they build the life cycle and iDRAC control under the board because I have had a couple of systems that have just completely died because of the life cycle controller. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked. It'd be nice to uh, put more of a dent in my servers. I have a ton of R520s that I just can't find buyers for, so those are going to be the chopping block next because I have one listed on eBay. It's super competitive price. There's not a lot of R520s listed right now. And I think I'm like $10, $15 more than the cheapest one. But like I have all the caddies and I have better pictures and all that stuff. So it's, it's whatever. It's eBay. But yeah. So, exciting th things afoot. Hopefully, once the parts come in, I can get these to their final config, and um, yeah, they'll be in production. And I don't remember if I said, but basically these are going to be used for a similar thing that I'm doing with mine. Um, they're going to be video editing rigs uh, for cloud, cloud video editing, basically, for the people that can do it remotely. And they should be pretty good at that. Sounds like they're the same thing as me, 1080p footage. These will do 4K. It's 4K, you're looking at like, it seems like the rendering's about real time, but he said that's plenty fast because just leave it running overnight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully that was interesting, and thanks for watching.